Hey everybody, welcome to Poke Park Wonders Beyond. I'm your host, Diogen Z, and today is all about Cove Town. If you wanted to see awesome, adorable main character Pokemon cutscenes, this is the episode for you. After my recent uh, slip-ups in, in the battles we had last episode with Sock and Throw, I realized we need to power up our abilities, and that I must praise this game once more for. You earn berries for earning friends. The way to earn friends is by playing games. And the way to get cooler friends, like Sock and Throw, and m more stronger adversaries on your side, you have to upgrade your abilities. And that's why the berries come in here. For a good cost, buy the Tutors, Servine, Pignite, and Duat. You can learn and be taught powerful moves, more strong than the ones you already know. So this episode, we're just going to go through as many as our berries can take us through. Let's go into... Let's switch into Tepig, because he just got on our side. Oh, there's the Dark Vortex. Picture perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, as long as that Dark Vortex doesn't expand. And swallow us whole! That would not be good. Not at all. No. Not so much. I like this place. I don't want it to be eaten up by a freaking dark ride, dark hole. It's bullshit. Ah, there you are, Pig Knight. There we go. He's looking for someone to tutor. Oh, yeah, we want to learn the moves. All right. Fire versus fire. Here we go. Well, no fire versus fire fighting, right? Oh! <laughs> That was so massive. It took out it took out Audino as well. How's mine? Oh, but mine's pretty powerful too. Fire! Whoa! Can't even jump to dodge that. That's an impressive ground pound you have. There we go. We got it. Have to jump away from the blast. But mine's better. And now we can actually get a stronger ground pound. It's one of the options you can shell out your berries for. I'm sure that Pig Knight here makes roasted berries, which is a delicacy amongst Pokemon. That's why berries have so much weight in this world. Hey, at least they're trading something legitimate. You can eat a berry. You can't eat a dollar. If you had a hundred dollars, that's not as good in a zombie apocalypse as having a hundred berries that could help you get through. Ah, uh, anyway. Berries are delicious. Had some blueberries and strawberries today. All in one concoction! I have super fruit shakes because I have been a lifelong vegetarian. And it's a delicious delicacy. Actually, it wakes you up more than coffee, I think. Coffee, to me, I, I enjoy it, but I can get into a, a craze of drinking too much. And then I can't go without it because I get headaches. So that's when I know, mmm... Gotta stop drinking coffee. Because I don't like being attached to something that requires me to have it to feel okie dokie. I like feeling good all on my own. Just Pokemon enhanced. It'd be nice if we could dash faster. The sooner we could dash into our foes to send them flying, the faster we can win battles! Hmm. I like all these cutscenes too. It's nice that they uh, added that. It's not just one Pokemon that dishes out all of the uh, upgrades. They are pretty costly though. I'm gonna run out of berries pretty soon if I keep going at this pace. But that's why we're here this episode. Oh! Our flamethrower is blocking his barrier good, because when I was fighting Bear Tick, I thought that my flamethrower would go a lot farther than it did. I don't like being so close up to use flamethrower. It's a special attack! It should be a far away projectile type -ness attack. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, let's improve. 
Let's go with... Yes. See, it starts out innocent enough with 200 berries, but if you want to go into the really high dash levels, you have to pay out. But, you'll see, you have to manage it right. Since Snivy is our big running Pokemon, we mainly dash and do chase missions with her. I want her to have the best dash. Tepig has a lot of power behind him. He's got the fire power, because he's a twisted fire starter, mixing prodigy songs. Anyway, uh, so I want to make sure his fire attacks are great. But, you know, we have the berries, so why not see Ashawat run with the tiny little legs? <laughs> go, Snow Cone, go! Well, that's good. He actually got to the sign first. Ashawat beating a Blitzel. I like Ashawat's shell blade, that's why I want him to be a swift samurai. Alright, and now we've maxed out Ashawat's running capabilities. We have to master the dash on our own. Well fine, we don't want to give you berries anyway. He's got just a 200 cost. I think wild pigs should be good at running. Uh, doesn't quite have enough to beat Blitzel yet. But he's doing well. This way our flame charge is super fast and powerful. Let's see, who else should we get training for? How about Pika? Alright, let's get a stronger Thunderbolt. Go farther and shock harder! Let's see. Chee! Oh, we pushed back Raichu. How many levels up can you go with Thunderbolt? Oh, that's it. <laughs> we can do Iron Tail. This way it knocks our opponents flat out a lot faster. <laughs> Have the grace to cut a flower and the striking force to take down a Snorlax. We're all powered up in that, too. Pikachu is a overall generally rounded out Pokemon, and for any weakness that we can't achieve with Oshawott, Tepig, or Snivy, we usually can whittle down with Pikachu's Thunderbolts. Even when we were fighting Dragon types, Pikachu was there in a pinch. So I want to make sure he has enough health to take more than a couple of chops from Throw and Sock. If we ever get to rematch them in some sort of battle tournament rematch thing, we'll be ready for them. Oh, we'll be ready. So this is a really cool upgrade system. I like that it's not exactly a level up system, so it's pretty easy to keep track of. And it's just more of a compulsion to go befriend different Pokemon in the area. And because we've been getting so many upgrades, new Pokemon have come to Cove Town. So let's see if we can find them. Ah, Espeon. I don't think we've made friends with you. Exercise? Huh. Okay. Seven seconds. I'm glad I have Pikachu. I did this box challenge originally with Pikachu, and now it's just facing the correct way. So we can get up this in no problem. In no time with no problem, I should say. Now be our friends. Espeon is awesome. Hopefully we find Umbreon. If you know where Umbreon is hiding within Poké Park, leave a comment below. 
What about you, Munchlax? Didn't we save you from Wish Park from eating too much cake? You should be our friends from saving you from, uh... Morbid obesity. That's what it is. Oof. Well, I guess that's kind of what he wants, because then he evolves. Now we can burst that rock open. But have we made friends with this guy? Bump bump. The garbage bag Pokemon. Trubbish. He keeps running away. Well, it's a good thing we just upgraded our abilities. What? Catch me? Actually, did we upgrade Pikachu's dash? I don't even know. I don't even remember. That's because I'm living in the moment of trubbish dashing. Whoa. All right. He, he plays dirty. I should have figured. He's from Staten Island. Come back. Yeah. Yes. Now, why was he running away? That's so funny. We're going to dash into you, so we assume you'll stay. What if he just gets up and starts running again? <laughs> Clean him up. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. They recycle. A lesson in friendship and recycling. Yeah, stop spewing your trash everywhere, Trubbish. So, he thought he was in trouble for dropping garbage everywhere. But he'll never be vacuumed up. Trubbish is really... <sighs> I wish it didn't exist. I really don't think it's a Pokemon, but alright. If you say so. It's just like... I don't know, did one of the developers of Pokemon go out one night and their garbage were ripped in half, kind of like that? Or not in half, but at both ends? All their stuff came spewing out, and they were like, huh. Now, if I just put a face on that, it's Pokemon! I don't think so. Now, Oshawott, Oshawott's a good Pokemon. And he can carry boxes like a beast. That's funny. I don't know, but you look good. Does that mean... We have a lot of HP. Or did you not teach us anything? I want you to train Snivy. 100 berries? That's much better cost for right now. <laughs> We're getting to the end of our berry supply. But hey, it's been a fun episode. Snivy really doesn't have to carry that big of a box, but it's just level 100 training. Or the first level. I don't know. Is that like a. Uh, play off your name, Audino. I don't know. I guess. And a hundred berries for you. Hundred berries for everyone! Oh, now to pig. That looks like a bigger box. I guess he can have a lot more health than Snivy. <laughs> yes. Who else can you teach for 530? Yep, we have 500 berries left. Let's see how many boxes Pikachu can carry. Wow, that's quite the stack. Ha, huh, I'd like to see Throw and Sock try and mess with me now with increased HP. Level 2! Alright, so we have maxed out as many abilities for the moment as we can. Not really maxed out, but ran out of berries. Now we are going to continue on traveling throughout Poke Park and trying to stop Darkrai's wrath in the train zone next episode. Oh,